There's a lot of days that I just want to get up and get out and go shooting some landscape photography or small town street photography or whatever, you name it. And living in the Midwest, we don't have access to, you know, the big, beautiful national parks and oceans and all those kinds of things. So I have to get a little bit creative. One of the ways I do that is, honestly, I just hop in the truck without a plan and a hot cup of coffee and just hit the road. This video is basically one of those days I got out of the house relatively early, not crazy early, and just went west. It was minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit without the wind chill. With that, I just want to say thank you all for dialing in and choosing to click on this video. I really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoy it, and uh, with that, we'll dive right in. This old grain elevator was the first stop of the morning. It's in a little town called Sandwich, Illinois. It's just to the west of where I live. And I was just liking how the morning light was hitting it and wanted to stop and get a, a quick shot. I definitely like the square crop for this image. And I used Analog Effects Pro 2 to give it that filmic nostalgic look. This next one I've seen in black and white the whole way. I just love the shapes and the shadows and textures and the tones of this uh, image and just wanted to make sure I captured it in a uh, portrait orientation and before I lost this light. And then it was time to hop back in the truck, warm up, get a little bit more coffee and the beauty of it was is I had the road to myself given the time of day and the freezing temperatures so that was nice. I rolled up on this spot looking due east at this barn right into the sun and had a nice uh, group of trees around it so I figured I'd go for that starburst pattern in the sun and that uh, crystal air was going to help things with the atmospheric look and uh, I got this shot. The cool thing about YouTube is with the right music and some cross dissolves and some slow fades you can make anything look tranquil and serene and just gorgeous but uh, let me tell you this is how it really was i shot this one and quickly i might add with my 70 200 millimeter lens at about 110 millimeters and I was at f13 and my ISO was at 320. Shutter speed was at like a thousandth of a second because it was so flipping cold and my hands were shaking. But uh, yeah, I like how the image came out. It was starting to warm up and, uh, and yes, I need to clean my dashboard. But... Uh, the warmer temperatures allowed me the opportunity to take a few more pictures right in this general area. Here's one that's a slightly different angle from the last one you just saw, but what I like about this one is how the three elements, the top of the tree, the tree's shadow, and that post in the foreground, they all lean and point right at the old barn. Something about that I just find pretty cool, and that's why I shot this one. Same spot, different angle once again, and I love shooting into the sun. I love the long shadows, so shooting this one was a no-brainer for me. Very similar image here, but I bumped it up to F18 to get that starburst pattern in the sun, and honestly, after looking at them both, I like the first one much better. Same general area, different group of trees. I just fell in love with the light and the overall simplicity of this image. All right, so with literally frozen fingers, I hop back in the truck and don't ask me why I didn't have my gloves on, but uh, got back on the road and uh, found an amazing spot that I've wanted to shoot for a long time. By this point it's warmed up to about minus five degrees but the wind was still blowing really hard. 
but I wanted to get out and get some shots of this old car that I've seen so many times and never really shot it with uh, a DSLR. So this was my opportunity and I was going to get some shots of it. And I'm not even a big car guy or anything like that. I don't know anything about cars other than how to drive them, but I do like old things. I love nostalgia, and this certainly fit the bill for that. So, got a little bit of video, shot a ton of images. I'm just gonna share those all with you now, and let me know what you think. I had some fun processing this one, and I don't know if any of you out there have seen the movie Christine, but I was uh, taking the evil car approach to my processing when I did this shot here. And by that I mean, if you look on the right hand side of the vehicle, you'll see that it's all in shadow and dark, and uh, on the left hand side as you're facing it, it's light and more airy and basically I was just trying to give this car uh, kind of like a two-faced kind of feel just kind of make it eerie and somewhat evil at least that's what I had in my head call me crazy and uh, anyway so that's uh, a brief explanation about what I did with this one now I didn't have to do anything to this one to make it creepy or uh, creepier than it already was. Those small little handprints on the inside of the rear windshield glass uh, pretty much did it all. As creepy as it is, I really do love this image. I just love the stillness of it. Now this is pretty much the same shot, I just processed it so it was a little softer and you can't really see the handprints. And these last two are just very nostalgic shots, I love the grittiness of this one here. Head north on East Street toward East Railroad Street, then turn left onto East Railroad Street. So apparently it was time to head north, and that's exactly what I did. Enjoying a nice drive in the country, freezing cold, yet uh, beautifully sunny skies. It was really just a great drive and a good morning to get outside. Then I found this last barn that I'm going to shoot for today. There really wasn't much to shoot in this uh, other than getting out of the car and braving the freezing conditions, but shot it at 1 2500th of a second at F8, ISO 320, and uh, just love how it came out, the snow and the whatever those objects are in front of the barn, I just love them. Very rustic and charming and nostalgic. All right, everybody. Hey, that's going to do it for another video. Thank you very much for stopping by the channel, tuning in, sticking around this long. I really appreciate it. If you want to see these and more pictures, check me out on Facebook at Garrick Gillette Photography on Facebook. Also, Instagram at Garrick Gillette Photography on Instagram. Uh, that's going to do it. So, hey, with that, I am Garrick, and I am your very best friend in the whole wide world, so hit that like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. But we'll see you next time, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.